5,000 years ago, a civilization thrived in the shadow of the Himalayas. Its cities rivaled those of Egypt and Mesopotamia. Its engineers built the world's first urban drainage systems. Its traders sailed oceans, and then it vanished. No grand battles, no epic tales, just silence. What happened to the Indus Valley civilization? Why does its 400 symbol script remain unread? And what secrets lie buried beneath the sands of Mohenjo-Daro? Picture a city, unlike any other, in 2600 BCE. Streets laid out in perfect grids, houses with indoor toilets, a great bath line with tar to prevent leaks. This was Mohenjo-Daro, the mound of the dead, a metropolis so advanced it would take Europe 4,000 years to match its urban design. Archaeologist John Marshall, who first excavated the site in 1924, gasped, this wasn't just a city, it was a utopia. But where were the palaces, the temples, the towering monuments to kings? Indus cities had no pyramids or ziggurats. Instead, they had citadels, elevated fortresses that may have stored grain, not gold. Was this a society of equals? A civilization that valued practicality over pomp? The mystery begins here. A tiny stone seal carved with a humped bull and cryptic symbols, was found in Mesopotamia 1,500 miles from Mohenjo-Daro. How did it get there? The Indus people were global traders. They exported timber, ivory, and cotton cloth so fine the Romans later called it woven wind. Their secret? Standardization. Cubical stone weights, found from Gujarat to Afghanistan, prove they invented the world's first uniform measuring system. Yet there's a twist. Unlike Mesopotamia, the Indus left no records of wars or kings. Were they peacemakers, or did their stories vanish with their script? Over 4,000 artifacts bear the Indus script. Short inscriptions are never more than 26 characters etched into seals, pots, and tablets. But for 150 years, linguists have hit a wall. Is it Proto-Dravidian, an early form of Sanskrit, or something else entirely? In 2009, a team used AI to analyze the symbols. The result? It behaves like a language, they said, but without a Rosetta Stone, a bilingual text, the code remains unbroken. Some say the script isn't writing at all just clan symbols or ritual marks. Others whisper darker theories. What if they wrote on perishable materials? What if we've lost their voices forever? Among the ruins, two artifacts stand out. The dancing girl, a bronze figurine just 10 centimeters tall, her arm defiantly cocked, her necklace still gleaming. Archaeologist Gregory Possel called her the most captivating symbol of the Indus world. Was she a deity, a performer, or an ordinary woman immortalized in metal? Then there's the priest king, a stone statue with half-closed eyes and a robe draped over one shoulder. His serene expression hints at power, but his role remains unclear. No tombs, no grand statues, just these silent witnesses to a culture that left no king's names or conquests. Were they ruled by merchants, priests, or a council of elders? The stones refused to say. By 1900 BCE, the Indus cities were emptying. Streets filled with rubble, wells ran dry. What went wrong? Clues lie in the mud. Sediment cores from the Arabian Sea reveal a catastrophe monsoons failed for 200 years. The life-giving Gagar Hakra River, once the Indus's twin, vanished into dust. But was climate alone to blame? Skeletons in Mohenjo, Daro's later layers show signs of malnutrition. Trade with Mesopotamia collapsed. Then, around 1500 BCE, horse-riding nomads from Central Asia, the Aryans arrived. Their sacred Vedas mention forts of stone and a people called the Dasas. Were these the last Indus holdouts? Or did the cities fall long before? The truth is buried deeper than the ruins. Walk through India or Pakistan today, and the Indus whispers in plain sight. Swastikas, an Indus symbol for auspiciousness adorned temple doors. Ear piercings seen on Indus figurines remain a rite of passage. Even the namaste gesture resembles a figurine's folded hands. In 2019, DNA from a 4500-year-old Indus skeleton revealed a shock. Modern South Asians are their direct descendants. The civilization didn't die. It melted into the subcontinent's fabric. Yet the script silence taunts us. As historian Andrew Robinson said, decipher the Indus script, and history's greatest puzzle might finally be solved. Mohenjo, Daro's streets are silent, but its secrets still breathe. In a museum vault, a clay tablet waits, 
On it, five symbols, a fish, a stick, a jar, a man, and a star. Is it a king's name, a prayer, a recipe? Until we crack the code, the Indus civilization remains a mirror reflecting not just our past, but the fragility of our own cities. Will future archaeologists decipher our texts, or will we too become a mystery, buried beneath the sands of time?